the eye associate has a technology called OCT, and obviously that's just some letters that represent an ocular coherence tomographer. And essentially, what I would tell you, if just kind of in a, in a more joke, we're basically doing a scan of the retina or the optic nerve or other structure of the eye, depending on what, what test we're doing, that basically takes a picture and shows us Individ and it really more, more like, a, like an x-ray would be with different technology. We want to see the individual layers of the retina looking for macular degeneration and, and how advanced it is as it progressed. Maybe um, looking to, to uh, analyze a maybe particular structure abnormality inside the eye that could be you know, anything from just a little freckle um, to, to something more serious. Um, we can scan just the nerve with that same technology, different, different mode on the machine, but actually scan the optic nerve and figure out is the optic nerve functioning at a normal level, okay, compared to a big population basis that, that's in the machine. And once the patient's established, obviously we could, would track, you know, visit to visit, how are they doing? Because once I've got a scan of you, I almost don't care about normal anymore. I want to know if you're stable versus your last test. Um, Typically, that testing is covered by insurance if the doctor sees something. So I think maybe you've got glaucoma, the optic nerve has some abnormality to it, and we scan it. And you can use the glaucoma risk code or the glaucoma code if that's what we find, and everything's great. Insurance companies are not currently finding that to be standard of care just as a routine eye exam. So if, I, if you just said, Doc, I want to know how all, how's my retina doing? I can look inside and see basic stuff. To have one of those tests done, again, obviously it'd be something that the patient could pay for out of pocket. I don't have a whole lot of people wanting to do it, but it's, it's a really amazing technology. I'm going to give you an example that literally happened within the last two days as why I find I don't know how I could ever work without this machine. The patient gets referred in to me from an outside source for cataracts, and they were told their cataracts were ripe, had to come out. Like, like, they, like I, they, they told me I have it done right away. Well, I mean, cataracts aren't quite that urgent, but vision right eye, 2150. Not 2020 or 2030 or all those, up to 2150. Almost the top of the chart. Best I could do, even with new glasses. I checked that first. Other eye, about 2050. In case you're thinking, I, I'm assuming cataracts, because that's what the patient was told, the patient told me. I look inside, cataracts, both eyes, but the two eyes look the same. Okay, well. If the cataracts look the same, why is the vision 2150 in one eye and 2050 on the other? 50 is bad enough, 150 is way worse. So it, it, I've, take the time to pull your little microscope over and you'd use a special little lenses that we've got somebody put away, the little lens, you look inside the eye, and I think to myself, hopefully not out loud, I say, cataracts is not this person's problem. And in defense of the doctor that saw this person private, they do not have an OCT machine. 80,000 or more, depending on what model you have. They just don't have one. ISOCIS does at each office because we just we need them. And tell my technician, please take you know, Mr. So and so down. Let's run a macular OCT and scanning a particular area of the retina. And normally, when you see this, this, this result, it looks like sand art back in the day. Individual layers, you see all these nice, smooth layers of the retina. Of course, I look at the left eye first because I knew that was going to be normal. The right one looked like a nasty monster just opened its mouth up. All that was retinal or su what they call subretinal fluid. So does he have cataracts? Absolutely. Is that why his vision was urgently bad in his right eye? No, he's got macular degeneration that was not detected without the technology or not proven. I guess I think it was, I hope that it was detected because you could tell something was abnormal. But it did not, I admit it, did not look anywhere near as bad as that scan showed. But the vision told me something's not right here. And without an OCT to be able to figure this out, that person would have potentially been having cataract surgery, which would have not improved the vision anywhere near what it needed to improve that eye. And if you didn't know ahead of time that the swelling was there, then the patient wants to say, why did your cataract surgery ruin my eye? And again, it didn't. So what we're going to do for that patient is they're going to go see the retina person tomorrow Actually, tomorrow was today. It was on a Friday. So they're in there with the retina person, maybe right now, getting it looked at. Got to get the retina under control. Will we work on the cataracts of Absolutely will. But 
that retina problem has to be solved first or you're not going to get the outcome that we want, that you want, and all that kind of stuff. Can't do it without the technology, period. And OCT is just an amazing, it just, it's a tool I'm fortunate I get to work with every day. I work in, in, at the State Road 70 office, and I work in the office in Ellington. Doesn't matter where I go, that machine's waiting for me if I need it. Um, do I need to run it on every person? I think in a perfect world, it'd be nice. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to know? It's like they, they've got the medical doctors have these full body scans and all these things that I personally never had done, but you know, they can tell you stuff that you didn't know, maybe stuff you didn't want to know, but potentially stuff you need to know. So the OCT is really, really cool. It's a really neat technology.